What's going on everybody? This is Rick from Studio Spades and for the past few weeks I've been working on a brand new product for you all. It's called the X-Ray and Hologram Shader Pack. It is one very comprehensive uh, master material, but it comes with five presets that you see right here, um, made from the very same master material. Now I will press play so you can see what they do. Um, I'll mute the other ones or disable. So let's take a look at this one. Um, it's a pretty cool red hologram thingy, um, which has bars going across it. Um, yeah, really like the look of this one. Maybe take a look at the other one. This is a pure x-ray one, pretty simple. We don't need to press play for this one because it doesn't do anything. Um, so yeah, the, the point of this material is to show the versatility and um, it is quite versatile. It is, like I said, all made from the same mass material you'll see below here. The only thing that's different is a couple of settings or maybe a node that has been disconnected and connected in another way. But other than that, they are all pretty much identical. So you can get really varied results with the same master material. Um, I'm really liking the look of all these uh, shaders. And um, the point of it was customizability. I want to be able to make quick iterations uh, with it and I want you to do it uh, as well. So it is very easy to do. I won't be diving into how it all works right now. If that is uh, handy for people, I might do a video on that too and release it um, as part part of the the material pack but it is quite st straightforward because a um, i have made sure the node flow is quite logical and easy to read um, with uh, clear descriptions in the nodes and the frames they all have text above here that explains what things do uh, and on top of that, I've color coded everything. So you can see similar things all have the same color. Settings that are part of that material all have gotten the same frame color. And like I said, with that, there are descriptions in the frames here in the text. You can see it here that explain what everything does. And there are quite a lot of mixer nodes those are the ones in blue here, in the blue frame. They mix all these layers together. So basically, and these are the, the BSDF ma uh, materials. Three BSDFs you can also mix here. Um, emission strength. This is the visibility based on uh, a Fresnel node. So everything in blue is visibility with a color ramp so you can clamp the effect. The color ramps here go from black to white or white to black. Uh, so everything is blue is visibility. Let me just re-enable these. Um, blue is visibility based on index of response. Blue, blue. Then we have a color ramp in these three frames here these red pink and orange frames are the three effects or three layers the shader is made of so we have a um, striped pattern you can see here in this one you see stripes go up we have a dot or pixel pattern in pink those are the smaller dots you might see clearly in this one 
see some dots. And then we have the wave pattern here, which is quite visible in this one. And they are all mixed with other noises. And um, yeah, we, we have some mask in the black frames here, mask layers as well that get mixed into this to create a more glitchy and random look. And that's basically it. I mean, it's not that much. Um, they're all made of custom nodes as well. And all important parameters are exposed. So everything you would want to control is exposed. So you can easily tweak it, make it your own, change colors, change the size of things, the rotation, um, and maybe most importantly, you can animate everything if you want. And if you don't want it animated, you just mute this node and everything stands still. Um, and this outputs three different speeds that get plugged into various nodes to make them move. So when you press play, everything is animated. And yeah, like I said, it's not super complex, but you can get really different results with it. Um, animated or not in all kinds of colors because of the, um, yeah, let me see, one, two, three color ramps that influence the color. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's available on Blender Market. Uh, version 1.5 has just been released. And uh, yeah, I intend to update this regularly. Um, my philosophy is quality over quantity. Um, I don't need 10,000 products on my Blender Market Profile. i rather give you a few ones that are really, really good. So I will continue um, to update these. Uh, like I said, it's in version 1.5 already. For the past few weeks, I've been releasing update after update. And I intend to uh, continue doing that until I feel I can add nothing more without it getting bloated um, because ease of use is also very important to me and I personally find it very easy to use because of the color coding the note layout and um, clear descriptions so that's it you can get it at Blender Market uh, I hope you enjoy it and um, yeah I just want to make sure that you don't get these models with it I just applied them to these models. Um, this is how the scene file looks. You get you get some Suzanne's and a reminder that you need to um, press play in order to get everything animated. So yeah, I hope you like it. Oh, one more thing. It works both in EV and cycles. Let me just switch to cycles. Uh, oh, now it's transparent didn't realize that, sorry. So yeah, EV and Cycles basically looks the same. Um, only th difference is, is that Cycles can blend the index of response edges better. So in EV, these edges where you won't see anything versus you will see parts of the, the layers. Uh, in EV, these transitions are a bit harsher and the cycles you can smooth them out that's basically the only difference between the the ev and cycles version uh, that's because that that cycles node that is used is not available in ev so yeah that's just a, a blender limitation but they basically look identical in um, both versions and the the ev version is uh, yeah super fast so i hope you enjoy it get it at blender market um, and, uh, yeah, a, a percentage of the proceeds go to the Blender Development Fund as well. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you make some cool materials yourself. And I hope to catch you in the next video. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>